Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley from Pattern Emporium. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Pattern. If you've not seen one of our videos before, I sew up a whole bunch of samples in the pattern that we're just about to release so that you can see exactly what's in the pattern. This week we are talking about a pattern that you might have seen a sneak peek of in the last video and it is the Chasing Butterflies top. It's a top, it's a sweater, it's a jumper designed for stretch knit fabrics. Ideally you would use a four-way stretch knit fabric. You can use a two-way stretch knit fabric with give as well but I would recommend probably using something for different for the neckline just so that it has that little bit more resilience and it doesn't stretch out or stick up. The standout feature of this pattern is its bat wing sleeve. It's dramatic. It is full, so it drapes and it's quite glorious. It then tapers down to a fitted sleeve to the wrist. You can also sew a half sleeve and that has a cuff that sits below the elbow. Along the bottom, you can have just hemmed like this one, or you can have a band like this one. So the choice is up to you. It does come in three lengths and those three lengths are kind of open to interpretation. Ideally, it sits at your hips. So if you've got a long body, you might want to go for a longer length. But if you have a shorter body, you can go still go for the long length and it will just sit longer on your body. There are a couple of different necklines. There is the crew neckline, which is my favourite, and then there is a slightly more open, relaxed neckline, and they are both banded finishes. We then have a roll neckline that you saw just before, and it is just a roll neck, nice and snuggly. And how that sits is really going to depend on the drape of your fabric. So if you have something fluffy like this, it's going to sit up a little bit more. But if you have a thinner sweater knit, it will tend to flop a little bit more. But we also have two separate scarves. You can add a separate neck warmer. So it is similar to the roll neck in that it sits closer to your neckline. And there are pattern pieces for those, but I also give dimensions in the tutorial and you can play around with the length of that depending on the fabric that you have. And then we also have the fuller infinity scarf. So it wraps twice around the neckline to make it nice and snuggly and warm. But then if you go inside, you can then take that off again. Now, a little thing that is different about this pattern is we have the grain line sitting the opposite to what it normally is. So normally a grain line is parallel to your center front. So you align that with the salvage. Now this one, you still align it with the salvage, but you'll notice the grain line runs across the jumper. Now the reason for this is to give you enough stretch through your arm. If you cut it the other way and there isn't enough stretch, this is going to be quite tight through your arm and to your wrist. So take note of that grain line. The grain line for the other pieces remains the same as it normally is. Be very careful that you don't cut this along the same fold as your top because it will tend to stick up because you've cut it with the grain line running the other way. So with the stretch running this way through the band instead of this way. So if your neckline is sticking up a little bit, that is probably why. So let me take you through the sweaters and the tops that I've made. So as I said before, you've probably seen this one already. It is a sweater knit. I have done just the hem version. And the reason I like this one is you can just tuck it in a little bit and you still have a little bit sticking out the back and there's not too much bulk. I have done the crew neck on this one, which is my preferred neckline for most things. And this is a matching set with the sleigh all day skirt with the splits. And I've just added a belt at the waist, untucked at the back, 
tucked in at the front, but you can wear it any way you want. If you want to have that blousing out so that it sits down at your hips or tucked in, or if your preferred look is with a band, you can pop that on as well. This is length one, the crew neck in a sweater knit. As I showed you before, rounding the look off with the beautiful soft infinity scarf. This next one is a jacquard knit from Wattle Hill. It is a beautiful quality fabric that I would say has a light to medium weight, closer to the medium weight. Um, I have done the crew neck and I've done length one and just hemmed. This is a great, love that. <laughs> this is an awesome work option because it is slightly dressed up. And then if you want to, to, you can just do a little tuck at the front and immediately that elongates because your, your proportions are smaller at the top. Absolutely love this and goes with so many things. So dressed up for work with the Palazzo pants or a little bit of fun on the weekend with your jeans. Just fun and easy and I am so warm. And then if you just wanted to warm that up a little bit more, you could just pop on an infinity scarf or the neck warmer. Love it, love it. Love the drape and it works really well in this fabric. You still see all the drape without it being bulky. This next one I have sewn in my size in a very drapey fabric. Now the reason I've sewn it is I wanted to show you how much a rayon elastane or a viscose will grow. It has grown, you can see the heaviness of the sleeve. It's just all fallen down much bigger than my body, but I love it. So I guess for my next one, if I did this, and again, I wanted to show you this so that you can see and then make the decision for yourself. I would probably size down. I have sized down in two of my sweaters so that you can see the difference. Um, so this is my measured size and you can see it does sit a lot bigger on my body, but on a summer's day, just having that easy breezy airiness is so nice. And it, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, the same as the other ones, and you are super comfortable and kind of fabulous. So this is a viscose elastane from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. Uh, crew neck again, half sleeve with cuff, and as I said, it has grown a lot on me. Then this is length one, and I've just hemmed it, and you can wear it out, you can see it sits there's my jean waistband. These ones are quite low. Um, and you can see that it just sits easily at my hips. But again, I just like it. Just tucked in that little bit just to elongate my legs because I am only five foot three. Next, we have this beautiful mesh from Boo Designs. Isn't it gorgeous? And I have to say, it was so easy to sew. It was just like sewing any other fabric. I used a very light viscose elastane for the neckline. If you are going to do a contrast neckline or your fabric isn't resilient enough for a neckline, try to keep the neck weight as close to your top as possible, just so that it doesn't weigh it down. Now, I can see the size difference already from here. This one I did size down from my measured size because I'm used to sewing meshes that grow. This one didn't, but if you get one that does, yeah, consider sizing down. If you have a very, very drapey fabric, consider sizing down. I kept my same neckline though. I used my measured size neckline and a size down for the body. Absolutely love it. Just, I didn't even hear it. It's just tucked in. And this is gonna look so gorgeous dressed up or down. And dressed up, isn't that gorgeous with the palazzo? So chic, so very, very simple. 
just with hugs and kisses underneath. Just easy, light, relaxed, and a little bit of fun with the mesh. A sweater knit is ideal for this pattern. This is from Dahlia. It's quite textured, kind of a bit like a waffle knit, I suppose, but it's not a waffle knit. Absolutely love this. And again, it's so easy to dress up for work. If you want to, you can do the tuck without too much bulk. And it's just relaxed and easy. Now, I did make a scarf for this one. Right here. And I didn't have much fabric left, so I cut it a lot shorter, but I still think it works. There we go. You just add a whole different element to it. And then when you get warm, you can just whip it off. It definitely does make my neck warmer. Um, and because this is a sweater knit, as I mentioned earlier, sweater knits can tend to flop for the neckline. So if you didn't want it to, you could probably line it with fleece or something like that. Or um, the alpaca from Lush is a good one. I've got one in the roll neck and that sits up beautifully. I'll show you that one in a sec. But this is just, it's, it's just surprisingly easy and chic and can transfer from dressed up to weekend just so easily. Love this. And again, with the palazzos, love it. And as I said, so easy to dress down on the weekend, even the same jumper. Just easy. Scarf off when the weather's a bit warmer. So versatile. This one is a cable knit from Dahlia. This cable knit has lots of stability and it's probably the most bulky fabric that I've used. So you will see a difference in how it sits. You can see here, it doesn't drape like the others, but I still love it. It just, it still has that beautiful freedom and ease of movement and is still lovely and relaxed. Now for this one, I have added the hem band. So if you love that look of the firmness around here, that's quite wide, there you go. So we're not gathering onto it or anything. You can just straight sew it on this is a little bit smaller than this, so you will need to stretch the band a little bit to sew it on, but no gathering. And then down to our sleeve. If you wanted to tuck a whole top in, this option is great too, because that whole band will tuck in so nice and neatly. I made another neck warmer. Um, again, I didn't have enough fabric. <laughs> So I have shortened it, but it just shows you can if you want to. It really is up to you. Um, I show you the process and I give you dimensions for a couple of different options. But if you want to make it shorter or you want to make it tighter, you can totally do that. And it's so easy. So unfolded, nice and warm, but it also folds down, just easy. They're nice and snugly warm on the weekend in this beautiful, beautiful cable net, one of my favorite colors. Love it. Can you see why we called it Chasing Butterflies? Next, I have used the gorgeously snugly fake alpaca from Lush. So soft. Everything that Tracy says about it is totally true. It's just so soft, it's so light and so warm. Again, I have done the length one banded. You can see the band there, my sleeves, love this. And then I've done the attached roll neck this time. And it's just so warm. I mean, it doesn't get that cold here in Queensland, not compared to the rest of the country, but I still get cold. Absolutely love the lightness of this. Really, really gorgeous. And then if you wanted to do a little bit of a tuck, 
but still had that little bit of blousiness. You can do that quite successfully with the band. A couple of the testers have used this fabric as well, so you will see them during the week. This one is length three on me, so it sits just below my bottom. It is a lot bigger, but I still love it. So ideally the lengths are for the different length of bodies that people have. They might have a preferred length. And for me, the preferred length of the tops. So as I mentioned earlier, the three different lengths on the pattern have to do with your body length. So whether you have a short body, average body, long body, you're tall, you're short, there's something there for everyone. But if you wanted to cut something that was a little bit longer, then those lengths are there for you as well. Just be aware that the longer it is, when you pull it up to your hip, let me just tuck in a little bit, the more it will blouse. So the more volume that you will have around here. This is just a poly knit, I guess like a sweater knit from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. And I've just done the self fabric in the crew neck. I wanted to mention too, on this one and one other one, I did a rib on the neckline. Trim your pattern piece about a centimetre so that it takes a little bit off the neckline. Rib uh, tends to stretch a little bit more, so can sit a little bit bigger. So if you just trim off maybe about a centimetre max, that should end up sitting nicely. And make sure that your rib knit has a last stain. Don't just do 100% cotton because it'll just stretch out of shape and keep stretching probably. So what did you think? Do you have a favourite? I would love to know. So we are having a giveaway. All you need to do is comment below with your favourite and you will go in the drawer to win one of the new Chasing Butterfly Top patterns for free. Now from tomorrow morning, you will start to see our testers photos in our Facebook group. Now the pattern release, this pattern goes on sale on Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And of course, it includes our pattern release special, which is 15% off. And that will run until noon Monday Australian time. So that's Sunday night US time and the middle of the night UK and European time. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the group.